So we all know getting the Google My Business address is an absolute pain. That's one of the toughest parts of this process, one of the big, biggest hangups. And I remember back when I first started, it was like, we did all the regular stuff and then we had this whole other process of how are we gonna get the Google My Business or the, the address? How are, like, are we gonna use this method or that method and try this one and that one? It was this whole thing and we were paying people to do it and oh my gosh, it was terrible. Then we started pre-selling and just doing flat fee deals and it kind of clicked. I'm like, okay, the person that I just sold to, that just agreed, they gave me their credit card, they're sitting in that area. Like they're literally sitting there right now as we're talking. Why don't I just use them? Why don't I make it a requirement for working with me to give me an address? And uh, guys, I had the exact same fears and questions as you do, which is, well, we can't use their same business address. Of course not. Uh, why would they give me an ad? Like these are internal thoughts. Well, why would they give me an address when it's, it's, it's something I own and all, like all these things I thought of them as well, but guys, for the last, I don't know, 40 sites that I put up and 40 deals that I've done, I have gotten 100% of people giving me GMBs because I do the following. Okay. So here's what I do. <clears throat> Follow along. I get done. You know, I go through my clothes and if you've seen a previous video that I've talked about my clothes, uh, you'll know what that is. If not, you need to check it out. Um, I used an option slash assumption close. So I get the card and then I say this, I say, oh my gosh, w one more thing. There's, there is a catch. I forgot to tell you there's a catch. And, and of course the business owner is like, oh, that's what I thought. This did sound too good to be true. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm totally kidding. Cause I want to make it seem like it's this huge big deal. And then I'm like, okay, I'm bringing it back down. Actually, it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Remember when I was telling you about that section at the top called Google My Business, the map pack, whatever it is at the time called um that's like i'm telling you guys whatever they call it because that's going to change you remember when i was telling you about that mr business owner or mrs business owner yeah yeah so if we can get an address in there so what what happens is this and i explain i say what, what happens is google wants to make sure that we're local so they have us get an address and send a postcard that looks something like this if you have one you could show them if not it's not a big deal okay and what they'll do is they'll they'll have us give you give them the address they'll send a postcard and they send a code with it. And what happens is if we take that code and put it in, it verifies that we have a local contact, that we're local and we're not just somebody that's not local. So what I need you to do in order, that doesn't automatically mean we're gonna rank in there, but it allows us the ability to rank, it verifies us. So what I need you to do, and it's going to, it's going to like significantly help with leads, I need an address in that city. So if I'm targeting Vegas, I say, I need a Vegas address, not a Henderson address, not a Summerlin address, not a North Las, Las Vegas address. I need a zip code in Las Vegas, if at all possible. Now, is it possible that we could do it in one of those places and still rank yes, but our chances are gonna be much better if we can get it in a Las Vegas zip code. So the only exception is I cannot, I cannot use the exact same one that you did. So if you used your house and I said, do you remember which address you sent the postcard to? They're like, yeah, we actually sent it to my house. Okay, we can't use that. I could use anything. You have an in-law, you have a, a, a brother, a sibling, a, a uh, employee, a cool customer, a buddy that has another business. I don't care what it is. I just can't be the same, but I need an address. And all it's going to be is I'm going to send a postcard. We're going to hide the address. No one's going to be showing up to that address and, and asking where you're at. The address will be hidden from Google or from the, the customer. I just need an address to verify the business. Who do you have that comes to mind? And I'll ask right there, just like I do with the credit card. Ask right there because a lot of times like, yeah, I have somebody right now. It's my brother, let me give you his address. And boom, I grab it and I say, hey, okay, what's their name? Because I want the mail to get delivered and I'll put their name as the ATTN, the attention, whatever. And I'll grab it right there. And if not, they'll say, I'll, and, and you could tell they're kind of struggling or whatever. And I don't want to make it huge. I'm like, okay, here's the deal. Um, let me get this all set up. Um, let, let's get the leads pushed directly to you. And I'll follow up with you in like 24 hours. Rack your brain, but, but listen to me on this. This is going to help you. Think about it. The more, like I told you in the beginning, the more pieces of real estate, because I always use the example of like Monopoly, like the game Monopoly, and I talk about digital real estate. If we can get one of those spots in the Google Maps, that's just one more chance for people to call you. And since we're on a flat fee, it just means more leads. So it's actually going to be better for you. That's why we do this is the more leads we can get, the better, the happier you're going to be. So this is why we're doing it. Okay. And if I explain it like that, it's a no brainer and I make it a requirement. They're like, like I, I, I don't accept like, Hey guys, if you don't, then it's, it's fine. Cool. You don't, you don't have an address. You can't provide an address. You don't want to go do it. That's fine. But it just means we're going to list, we're going to be missing out on leads. Okay. Now. Yeah. 
we or you're still going to get the leads that I, that I'm I'm projecting we're going to get based on our conversation, but we can get even more with that address. So spin it so they understand like this is going to benefit them. And by doing this, it's very interesting. People magically find addresses of people that are in those places because it benefits them. So I do this every single time. Then I have a person, I grab the address, I grab the name, I send the postcard, wham, bam, we're done. And I've just solved an issue that many of you, and including myself a couple of years ago, spent hours and hours and hours and thousands and thousands of dollars trying to solve. We just solved it by using our head and making it a requirement for working with us. Anyway, guys, um, this is one of my strategies. We talk about a whole bunch more uh, good sales tactics and strategies with rank and rent, local lead generation. Check the link in the description or somewhere around this video, and I will see you in the group.